Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to derive the formula for EPE, elastic potential energy. So let's start with an unstretched spring. To stretch it of course we need to apply an external force and let's say we stretch it until its extension is x. Now notice that the external force that I have to apply is not of a constant magnitude. Because the spring as it gets more stretched, it also pulls back more strongly. If the spring obeys Hooke's law, then the spring force is directly proportional to the extension of the spring. Which means the external force that I must apply should also be directly proportional to the extension of the spring. So what is the work done by the external force? Is the area under the force extension graph, isn't it? So the elastic potential energy stored in the spring is exactly equal to the work done by the external force, which is represented by this triangular area here which is half base times height, so half f times x. f of course can be written as kx, so we got the formula here, half kx squared. Actually you are A-level students, oh? so actually you all can just integrate f goes to kx to get half kx squared. So in summary, if the spring obeys Hooke's law, then the spring force is equal to kx, and the elastic potential energy stored in it is equal to half kx squared. Please don't confuse these two formula. The spring force is directly proportional to x. The EPE varies quadratically with the extension. So if you double the extension, you double the spring force. But if you double the extension, you quadruple the EPE. This should be obvious to you now, huh? because to stretch the spring by this much, you got to do this amount of work this triangular area. But if you want to double the extension, you've got to do this amount of work. And this triangle is four times the area of this triangle. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!